a lot of words to describe you. Social media mogul, entrepreneur, internet personality, all this stuff. How would you describe yourself? I think I'm an entrepreneur. Somebody asked me today in an interview, what do I do with my downtime? I told them that I start other businesses. This is my hobby. This is my passion. This is what I love to do. I love building businesses. This is fun for me. You have to understand, I'm a purebred entrepreneur for real, for real, for real. Like, documented. How did this all start? What happened with me is I had the great benefit of being an immigrant. I was born in Belarus in the former Soviet Union and uh, came to the States in 78, set up in Queens, and my parents lived the American dream. They worked very hard. My dad was a stock boy in a liquor store in Clark, New Jersey, and eventually saved up enough money to buy a store in Springfield, New Jersey. I was lemonade stands, baseball cards, real hustler kid, anything to make a buck. And at 14, I got dragged into the store. Heard the internet my freshman year of college. Heard that sound, coo, coo, ch- <laughs> Knew that it was special. And in 1996, I launched one of the first e-commerce wine businesses in America called winelibrary.com. Took over my dad's business, kind of running it day to day in 1998 alongside with him. And from 98 to 2003, uh, helped grow that business from a three to a $60 million business. But growing a business from three to 60 million was just the beginning. Let's see what Gary created after leaving Wine Library. I was 30 four years old when I started VaynerMedia. I had spent the 12 best years of my youth building my dad's liquor store for him. I left that business, had no money, had no equity. I was worthless to the bank. VaynerMedia started in somebody else's conference room because we had no money for rent. So it was a ton of risk by normal standards when somebody reads it on paper, but not necessarily for me. It just felt like progression. I run VaynerMedia. We are an 800 person firm, $100 million in revenue, and four years from zero. We work with GE and Pepsi and Under Armour and Toyota and the biggest brands in the world. What does VaynerMedia do? We're a modern day madman. We're a Madison Avenue agency. The same people that used to sell commercial time on anything you ever did in radio and television, we now do that on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and we produce the creative for the brands to sell stuff through the phone. We are living through a revolution. This, my friends, this is the television. And the television is the radio. And it's 1960. And there's a huge opportunity. What does being a contemporary communicator mean? It means that you understand where people are paying attention, whether that's Twitch or TikTok or believe it or not, organic reach on LinkedIn. And then are you capable of creating the creative the videos, the pictures, the written words that are contextual to those platforms to make the agenda successful. VaynerMedia grew into a global advertising agency with five offices across New York, London, Singapore, Los Angeles, and Chattanooga, Tennessee. As time went on, Gary created VaynerX, a modern communications holding company that houses different ventures like the Gallery Media Group, the Sasha Group, Vayner Productions, Tracer, Vayner Commerce, and Vayner Speakers. Gary also continues to build other businesses. After four years of building Resi, a restaurant reservation app, it sold for nine figures to American Express in 2019. Gary's also an extremely strong business collaborator. In 2017, he became the face of K-Swiss. His collaboration helped contribute to their $200 million plus exit in 2019. Shopping cart below, if you're not buying this, you're breaking my heart. He's also a co-founder of Empathy Wines, which was recently acquired by Constellation Brands. So you just created Empathy last year. Yeah, this is one of those one plus one equals 11 where both sides of the equation bring so much value. CEO, Gary's the Chief Executive Officer of VaynerX. But how would Gary describe what he does? At its most pure sense, I am an operating entrepreneur. So let's take a deeper look into what drives Gary and how he operates. I'm a kid who started working literally the day I left college. I walked into Wine Library about six o'clock that night, worked for two hours, then went home, and literally from that moment, literally the day I left college, to the second I'm sitting here right now, I have never not been the chief operator of a business. And I've made payroll every single week since I was 22 years old, and I'm proud of that because it's practical as fuck. I've taken VaynerMedia as the CEO and COO for that matter, I've operated it 
Every day, I've taken it from zero to $200 million in revenue with no cash infusion, started it in a conference room, it's now my second company that I built, and what I want to do is inspire two 14-year-old girls in Kansas City right now to build a billion dollar company on having a bunch of employees hugging each other in the halls. And it is not lost on me that I am taking the gifts that my mom and dad gave me and I'm giving them to the world and my happiness framework and the way I treat people is for some reason becoming cool and if, and I'm just gonna squeeze the shit out of that because it's leading to good. I know I'm onto something so fundamentally different and I know that I can inspire people to do it because it's gonna have the empire part too. See, that's what people don't get. The reason I'm gonna win is because I've got both. The honey part means that you wanna go change the world. The empire part means you'll do it at all costs. I'm neither. Gary has a natural ability to see consumer trends, which led him to be an early investor in companies like Uber, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Snapchat, and Venmo. I am predicting that Facebook acquires Instagram. 15 million users for Instagram, probably gonna push 30 next year. And I just have this funny feeling that the Zucks is gonna look at that talent, look at that app, bring it in-house. So I was on Pierce Morgan. His opening line is, this company's 550 days old. How the hell is it worth a billion dollars? And my opening line is, they stole it. I get out of the studio and literally there are thousands of tweets of people calling me a fucking idiot. And then, I guess last year this time, right, uh, Facebook bought WhatsApp for 18 billion and every article like the next day after the news came out is like, oh wait a minute, they fucking stole Instagram. And more recently, Gary predicted this acquisition. When Joe Rogan inevitably announces that he get paid $100 million to exclusively be on whatever pop platform he's gonna go on, I have a funny feeling everyone's gonna be like, wait a minute. I have an announcement. The podcast is moving to Spotify. Gary's also involved in a variety of organizations like Charity Water, Pencils of Promise, Bojangles, Micmac, The All In Challenge, the Minnesota Rocker, Vayner Sports, and more. Now, let's take a deeper look into Gary's personal brand, at Gary V. Gary Vaynerchuk, aka Gary V, is a self-help media mogul. One of Gary's core beliefs as a marketer is that every company and human being is a media company first. Because of that, he built Team Gary V, a team of strategists, video editors, writers, and designers to help him grow his personal brand. Gary's been putting out content for 10 plus years across the platforms at the time. Starting with wine content with Wine Library TV, then he moved to hosting the Ask Gary V Show, a Q&A show between Gary and his audience. Then he started documenting his life's journey through Daily V and Weekly V. Like, it's so obvious to me what's gonna happen with Daily V. It's gonna be so fucking crazy what it all looks like a year from today. And he also started a live stream Q&A show called Tea with Gary V. Gary is also a five times New York Times bestselling author and travels across the world for keynotes and has a top business podcast where he talks to some of the biggest entrepreneurs, investors, artists, and thought leaders of our time. Gary Vaynerchuk retires or goes off in the sunset, what do you want to be remembered for? That I gave more than I took. I really want to be remembered for that. <laughs>